Hey guys, Jeremy here talking about something a little different. After I did the video talking about the Kirlian Frequency, which is on Netflix, which if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely watch it. It made me think about other motion comics that I've watched over the years, and one that's probably one of the best ones I've ever seen was the Dead Space prequel comic. It was written by Anthony Johnson and the art was done by Ben Templesmith. Now if any of you know who that is, he's the one who's been doing art for Steve Niles 30 Days of Night comics for the longest time. I don't know if either of them are associated with the comics now because I didn't even know that they started doing kind of like a redo or a second season almost of it all. But the thing I do know though is that Ben Templesmith's art is very horrifying. It's kind of stuff that's made out of nightmares. Some people could kind of say it's a little bit sloppy and certainly some of his caricatures are kind of terribly done sometimes but I always feel that it kind of blends itself into the horror nightmare the distortion of it all it really feels like it's stuff that's taken out of your lucid dreams your kind of fuzzy hazy but very intimidating nightmares it is definitely brought into this product this dead space prequel motion comic they released these just before the release of the game and admittedly I was already pretty hyped about dead space dead space is in fact actually one of my favorite game series that I've ever played I have several shirts, I've bought in the books, I've bought in the comic books, I've bought in different posters. Some of you may recognize this poster, it's actually something I've had on my gaming wall for quite some time. This is a Dead Space 2 promotional poster, this was at the Dead Space 2 booth at the 2009 Penny Arcade Expo in Seattle. There is a signature on here, I believe that this is one of the really important artistic guys, I think it was the lead artist, I, I, I don't know, I just know that it was really cool to get something like this. Also, there's this shirt. Now, this shirt is pretty cool. I'm going to see if I can try and make you guys see what's so cool about it. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but you'll see what I mean. Let's see if this actually works. Now, you can kind of see it, but the shirt is lighting. It's showing the Rorschach. It's admittedly it's a 10 year old shirt, but if, if you were in person you would see what I'm talking about. So at least to say yeah, I was a pretty big fan of Dead Space. A very big fan. It's the only other game series besides Mass Effect that I have bought this much merch for. So at least to say, the comic is a very, very good prequel. It's a very good build up in terms of displaying the tension, the horror, kind of the lore of what these characters were going through and what you as Isaac Clarke would go through. There was a prequel movie that was made by EA and these animators was called Downfall if I'm correct. Technically they both say the same story but I feel that the comic actually does a lot better of a job at it. Sure the animated movie is really violent and it really kind of goes for that horror sort of element but some of the writing is horrible, some of the characters are really horrible, just some of the entire execution of that whole thing is just horrible whereas the comic focuses entirely on what happens on the rock on the planet before and after they do the planet crack and then just how the infection kind of spreads and just kind of really builds into the whole marker unitology sort of dynamic of the Dead Space series. Whether the whole idea of a necromorph has ever really made sense in its entirety is kind of weird because they say that it animates dead flesh and certain creatures seem to come back from the dead animated but others needed to have that weird thingy come up and like reanimate them so I don't know the lore's never really made sense but I've always really enjoyed the games even the third one and the fact that they never got to finish the series they never really got to finish the story and what happened to Visceral Games Studios in general is pretty horrible. I definitely would say that the Dead Space as a whole has always been a loss. If you guys have never watched this motion comic, highly suggest it. You can find a bunch of versions on it on YouTube. I'll put a link for the one that I watch in the description below. It's a fantastically well-made animated comic. It's a great way of building up for your attention into the Dead Space series and it almost makes me want to replay through the series again right now. Got it. Fuck me. Two hours, you said? Doesn't sound such a bad idea to me. The acting's really well done. The sound design, while kind of minimalistic, is pretty decent because I imagine this was made with a very, very small amount of money. They probably put way more money into that really silly downfall movie, but I would definitely suggest it. Highly recommend it. It's going to give you a good scare and... It's short and it's well made. I'm not going to give it a rating again because you can't really rate this, but I would just say go and watch it if you haven't seen it in a while. If you were a Dead Space fan, you really should watch it. If you are not a Dead Space fan, but you always kind of wondered what it would be like, what the story was like, definitely watch this. You'll enjoy it. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads.
It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.